how to use Buffer social media management. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Buffer.com for your social media management. So let's get into it. Now, you can see that Buffer provides you with several different kinds of tools for your overall social media management. So they could be related to publishing, scheduled publishing, analytics, engagement, and starting your own customized landing page within minutes. So we're just going to click on get started now at the top right over here to get started with creating our Buffer account. Now, you can see that Buffer has two basic versions, the free version and the essential version, and you can get a trial for 14 days of their essential version, which starts at $5 per month per social channel that you link. And it is billed at $60 per year, so you get a $12 discount if you choose to build this yearly. But we're just going to get started with the free version of Buffer and get started with the basic publishing tools that we get with Buffer now. I'm just going to enter my email address and enter a password that I want for Buffer. So I'm just going to do that and I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to verify that I'm not a robot and we're going to get started with Buffer. So this is how easy it is to get started with creating your Buffer account. You don't have to wait or even wait for even a couple of seconds. Your Buffer account has now been created. Now to get started with your social media management, you're going to click on connecting your first channel. So it could be a Instagram business account, it could be a Twitter profile, it could be a LinkedIn profile, it could be a Facebook page or a group. So we're going to continue with Facebook and I'm going to continue with a Facebook page that I want to manage using Buffer. So I'm just going to go on to Facebook, I'm going to continue. And this is how easy it is for you to connect your social media account to Buffer. So I'm just going to continue with that and I'm going to go with this and I'm going to click on add to Buffer. And now you can see Buffer is now linking my social media page onto their platform. So now that I have connected my page, you can see I have my basic tools at the top. So at the top, you will find this navigation panel, you could say, where you can get your publishing tools. Then you have your analytic tools or all of your analytics for your channel or your social media account. Then you have your engagement. Then you have a start page, which is a new feature where you are able to create a landing page for your social media content on Buffer directly. So this will enable you to create a website for your business very simply and easily using Buffer without having to uh, take a look at different hosting sites or looking to buy a domain or having to do all that stuff. It's very easy to just go on to Buffer and manage all of your business needs from here directly. Now, after that, you have your apps. So you have Buffer for Android and iOS and you have Remix by Buffer and different integrations that are available. And if you click on integrations over here, you can add several different types of integrations to your Buffer account like Canva, Zapier, WordPress, Automate, Feedly, Microsoft, Crowdrift. All of these different integrations are available for you to connect to your Buffer account so you can manage your social media platforms more easily. Now, after that, on your top right, you have your general account settings, your preferences, different channels and teams. And if you go on to the team section over here, you can start managing your team. So you can invite uh, your teammates uh, depending on how large your team is. Obviously, if you're an individual user, you're not going to be able to add teammates. But if you go on to the premium version of Buffer, you're going to be able to add different teammates to your Buffer account. And this will enable you to manage your page with a larger team. So let's say you have like a business and you're managing like Instagram uh, pages for that page. Um, for that business and you have like an instagram page a facebook page a general like overall page and you have pinterest and many different social media accounts for a singular business then you can set up different people to manage a specific item so let's say you have like one person that is in charge of instagram only posts so that person could take charge over there and you can invite them onto the buffer platform so they can manage instagram posting and then someone else could manage their facebook postings and you can see over here i have connected my page over here and above my page you can see a calendar and on the calendar i'm going to going to be able to schedule different posts so to schedule a post what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on my calendar and let's say i want to post something on friday the 14th i'm just going to click on add post i want and i can determine the time for the post as well so you can see it says 6 a.m and if i scroll down i have all these times and i can pick out a specific time i want this to be posted so i want this to be at 2 p.m and what i can do is i can uh, do hey life coming up soon and I could like add emojis as well and I can always add text and video to my buffer post as well and this will be posted on my Facebook page so make sure to remember that you're posting this onto the Facebook page that you have connected 
or whatever social media page that you have connected. So you can click on add image and then you can add a photo or image or you can even design with Canva or upload them from your drive. And I'm just gonna click on add to queue. And now this will be posted on the specific time that I have added, 8 a.m. on uh, Friday the 14th. So this is how easy it is to schedule your posts using Buffer. Now, we have opened the weekly calendar. If you go on to the monthly calendar, you can schedule posts accordingly as well. So if you're not posting that frequently, you can schedule monthly posts. And this will enable you to really set posts for like really way ahead in the future. So even if I want to schedule something for March, I can just put it in the queue right now. And that would be actually posted on March. And I would even usually like this really enables you to get a good grasp of where your social media content or social media platform or uh, profile is headed. Now, after that, you can run a different kind of campaign on your social media account, but that is depending on uh, the plan that you have opted for. If you're going for the free version, you can't use this feature yet, but if you want to upgrade to the premium version, you can use a multi-channel campaign section to create a mix of content on your social media account. And this will enable you to see how you're achieving different goals on your buffer media management. Now to start adding more channels to your Buffer account, so I have added this one page. Maybe I want to manage another page on Facebook using Buffer, so I'm just going to click on Manage Channels over here. And what I'm going to do is you can see I can add up to three channels on the free version of Buffer. So I'm just going to click on Connect New Channel, and then I can choose what kind of channel that I want to connect on to my same Buffer account. And this will enable you to get the most out of your money. And on the premium version, you can add a lot more channels, and that will help you in generally just keeping track of everything that you're doing. Now, if you go on to your organization, you can obviously, if you're running a larger business, you can add your organization names, you can add and link different uh, overall project management softwares to integrate timestamps as well. If you're running like a super large business and you want to like keep track of your employees as well, and that will help you in generally just keeping your business aligned and just in check. So not only can you manage social media, but the overall behind the scenes of your page. Now, if you want to create a website with Buffer, you can just click on start page over here. And this is going to open up the simple kind of website template. I don't recommend using Buffer as a website creator or website editor, but if you just want a general landing page, it's nothing too fancy. If you don't want anything fancy, if you want a simple website or like a simple welcome page, then I definitely do think that Buffer could do the thing for you. So I'm just going to click on publish changes and then you're going to add whatever URL you want. So let's say we have test test. And I'm going to click on publish changes and now you can see that my start page is live so basically I have a landing page for my social media accounts as well so that was it for today I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to manage your own social media accounts using buffer and you can opt for the free version or essential version depending on your own needs if you found this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video